Welcome back to another exercise in SOLIDWORKS. Today we are going to make a basic, we are going to make this Apple logo with the help of basic sketch features or sketch tools and we will learn some basic sketch tools. So let's start to create this Apple logo. First we will create this center line, this construction line and uh, we will draw half of the portion and then later we will mirror this. So we will start from this center point. Okay, here you will see 4 millimeter one circle. Then another circle is tangent with this circle and radius 10 means diameter 20. Then here you will see one construction line 135 degree. There is one more circle 12 degree. Then here also one more circle. This distance 34, 90 degree, 16 diameter. Let's try to make this. Now first you have to choose unit in millimeters now plane I have to choose even though if you directly choose sketch it will ask you which plane you like to start I am going to choose front plane now activate right click a click or drop drop down the menu of line activate center line okay now escape key to out or right click select Similarly, if you press right key hold and little move and you will see there are many options will pop up. But this is not sufficient for our requirement because we, we did not set the perfectly. So we will rely on our main toolbar. Again, I am going to use center line. Now here, see I choose this side is bigger this side is lower so what we will do i'll choose hold shift key select the line again select the center point and leave shift and you will see here two options pop up one options pop up mid plane and co coincident this is already coincident i am going to choose mid plane now see it is equally moved in both side now activate circle now select here four enter now make sure here choose for construction this is our reference point again let's move something here and uh, draw this another just move your cursor near to circle and you will see this circle become orange means this is going to be tangent so click and leave now here choose for construction activate smart dimension and define this radius 10 10 into 2 is 20 diameter now activate okay even escape key to out of dimension right click and see let's choose line now here it is asking you line even though you can directly choose for construction drag something like here right click select means out of this activate the smart dimension now first let's define this angle 135 degree now let's define this length and this is 34 millimeter look now again I am going to choose activate circle and draw something make sure the ten center point located at this arc and move your cursor near to this circle and see if it's become orange means it is tangent click and leave right click exit click for construction that's that's it now again activate circle tool the last point this and this radius 16 into 2 this 32 diameter for construction okay activate smart dimension now this diameter 12 okay select out of this now let's move here two more circles this circle is tangent with this line and with this small circle see 16 diameter there is one more circle 16 diameter and the center point is lies on this line this see 90 degree 
of this line 16 diameter activate circle now click somewhere here let us say 16 into 2 millimeters 32 make sure it is construction similar okay let us activate center line or a construction line draw something like here click the point and you will see option many constraints so this is tangent that is it again activate circle and something like here or somewhere on the line make sure it is on the line 16 into 2 it is 32 just double click 16 into 2 millimeter it is 30 for construction but here we have to make some relations for this circle hold shift key this line tangent this is small circle and this circle tangent now this circle is going to define now the next circle is hold shift key this is going to be tangent with this circle tangent that's it now it's time to define our arc or something like this now here at bottom 16 radius arc and this arc lies on the center line see here it means it is equally divided in both side similarly here also 26 equally divided in both side because it is lies on the center point now there is one curve 16 and this is also 16 this point is lies on this line see here and later we will create this lines so i'll tell you how activate three point arc let's start first from here to here okay exit now first make select this line and this this point and line coincide relation this point two points make sure horizontal okay now this tangent now define activity smart dimension 16 this is fully defined sketch okay now again i am going to choose three point arc now i am going to start from here to this now select this arc and line tangent similarly i am going to keep this and this so hold shift key select both arc and circle tangent relation but it should not be go beyond this so i am going to choose this point and this coincide okay look this is fully defined a sketch now i am going to use this center point arc i am going to click and start from this point look this point is start and going to end something like here right click and exit see this is even fully defined let us leave this little outside again activate center point arc start click here on the center and start point first I am going to click here then drag your mouse and move your mouse not drag and select the point two if you can't see you will find ok click escape key to out somewhere click and see this is black means this is fully defined ok now what else ok here one trick one forget these points are not here this point should be here see so delete this coincide line move this something here see this is coincide 
perfectly. Now here I am going to activate center line and just choose the center point of this circle, drag little here, exit. This is going to help us three point arc, select this, something here, exit or press escape key, hold shift key, select both the end points, horizontal, okay. Again, select the center point of this arc, hold shift key, select the line and leave shift key and see this option pop up, make co-centric. One more relation, select the arc and construction line, hold shift key and leave tangent, sketch. Now this 26 radius, see this is fully defined. Now let's try center point arc. Now we, are, we want to connect this point to here. So I'm going to click center, then se select this point. Sometime it's okay. A click escape key to out, and you will see this is black, means the line is in black color, means it's fully defined. That's it. Again, center point arc. I am going to choose here, and this is going to start from this point. up to something like here, again three point arc, connect these two points, this point and select this line, coincide, okay, this, this equal. See, this is fully defined. If you are going to check 16 and this is also going to be 16, that's it. Now few more things we need to define, three point arc, Select the line and this line, tangent. Make sure this is also a for construction. Select this circle and this line, curve, tangent relation. Now see this is also going to be black. So we almost have a perfect shape for this. Mirror entity. What entity is going to mirror? I am going to choose one two, three, mirror about, I'll choose the center line. Let's choose this one also. Okay, let's uh, say okay. If you can't find here, let's directly connect with three point arc. Now select this point, tangent. But select this point and delete this relation. This see, you will see this symmetric relation delete. Now click point tangent. Look, it took the shape, perfect shape according to this drawing. So this is the our Apple logo is ready. If you choose extruded boss base, one millimeter, say okay. Look, see, so this is the simple exercise of sketch tools. I hope you like it. Don't forget to share, like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching.